It is quite an amazing experience coming down for the first time because there's nothing like it in the world actually. If you're looking to pick up some dazzling antiques, look no further than the London Silver Vaults, tucked away in an unassuming road in central London. We're William Walter Antiques and we have an individual shop within a complex of shops down here. There's probably 30 shops all selling silver. So you can buy everything from a spoon from the 16th century to a 1930s silver plated machine gun or a horse's hoof inkwell. Before the days of television, people got a little bit of cabin fever and so they tried to work out what they were going to do with their money next. There was nothing that really wasn't made in silver. Well, this is fairly unusual. It's an 1805 cucumber slice, and there's the hallmark. It's made by a famous maker called uh, Thomas Phipps and Edward Robinson. More common ones, actually, are ivory and steel. This is sort of the luxury, deluxe version made of silver, and it's still plenty sharp. John Walter is the current proprietor at William Walter Antiques, a third generation silver dealer who first opened their doors back in 1940 to keep London's silver hoard safe against the Nazis' bombs. My grandfather first came down here in 1940 and uh, he used it as storage and then from then on it just grew into an antique centre and then he died in 1970 and then my father came down, now it's mine. Effectively, we're a safe deposit within a safe deposit. We have thousands of pieces from things from a few pounds to my most expensive item, nearly a million. Anyone wishing to enter into these vaults will have to pass through their vigilant safety measures. This is in the top five most secure buildings in the world. I think it's number four according to my list behind Fort Knox, the Bank of England. I think there's another one in America and then, then this place. So it's pretty impenetrable really. There we go. Have a good look how thick that is. You get a huge mixture of customers. Yeah, we've had lots of famous customers over the years. A lot of people from the Dallas cast, a few prime ministers, Joanna Lumley. Some I haven't recognised. Well, I mean, they're pretty amazed, actually, when they come down. Of course, I'm effectively a bit institutionalised, you know, having been down here all my life, I, I treat it as normal. But when people come down, they sort of go, oh, wow, there's nothing like it in the world, actually. <laughs>